yeah i'm going to create a new java project known as day 4 okay now how do you recognize the objects on the web page all right now if you look at any web page if you open up a browser and you go to any website anyone say i go to the website n.redif.com right and say i have to recognize objects on this web page i click on the sign in link and i have to enter the user id and password on the next page hold on let the next page load right so over here suppose i have been uh, recognize the user id and password in the redif mail website okay right so how do i do that for doing that you should be knowing about html page source and you should be knowing how to investigate the page okay so <clears throat> now there are various things uh, which matter over here okay right first of all you should be able to identify objects in the browser for identifying the objects you have to install fire path sorry fire bug inside firefox okay right you install fire bug fire bug is a plugin for firefox which you need to install you need to uh, this is the plugin okay it will help you to identify the elements in firefox okay you click on add to firefox over here it will be added as a plugin inside firefox okay click on install and you will be able to see a small icon over here okay firebug 2.x whatever it is okay it will help you to recognize the objects if i click on it i get a window like this okay and on this window uh, i can this this is the small arrow over here you see this arrow okay this is a small arrow you click on this arrow and you move your mouse over anywhere on the page whatever element you move your mouse okay in the page source over here hold on yeah you will get the page source okay right so i hope you are able to understand me right okay you just need to click on this arrow and move the arrow over the element right you'll get the html code of that element with which we can actually identify the element okay for example in the redif mail page this is the user id field okay if i open up firebug and if i investigate the username field the username field looks something like this just a minute yeah it's an input the tag name this is the first thing which comes up with this conical bracket is known as the tag name the tag name is input okay this is one attribute known as id the id of this text field is login one max length 30 name is login okay there are various attributes now if an element is having attributes like id or name it really becomes easy to identify the element okay 
it really becomes easy to identify the elements if the element has got id or a name okay right fine so what we do is that we go over here and hold on let me add the jar files Hold on. Right. So what I'll do is that I'll make a new class known as Rediff. Okay. And oh, hold on. Just a minute. So I'll write the code in Firefox driver. Okay. We will invoke Firefox driver. All right. Fine. And we'll write driver.get HTTP. You can give the URL of this. Rediff mail website hold on okay and when you run this code <coughs> so this will go to this website obviously fine I, uh, Ashish, do you have to close the earlier browser that, that that was open, and then it opens a new page, correct? It always opens a new browser. Oh, okay. Okay, right. So, right now, out here. Uh, we have the web element interface okay there is a web element interface if i write like this driver dot find element this command will go with goes and finds the element on the web page okay with certain criteria okay right which criteria that is you have to define over here that is defined by the class known as by by is an internal class in selenium api okay if you write by dot you get the options by the if you want to find the element by the link text or the id or the name or there are many other options if i select id you can give the id of this button no, not not the button the username field okay the id is login one so if an element has an ID, it is really easy to identify it. And this find element function returns you back. Okay, object reference of web element interface. 
okay web element interface is an internal interface in selenium api okay which represents a generic html element a link is a web element a button is a web element everything on the web page is technically a web element okay and this web element interface it defines that all right so out here out here what do you want to do with this web element you can write from this web element email dot says send keys type inside it type hello inside this email web element all right so when you run this code send keys function types into the web element so if you run this you will see that you see that hello is typed out here okay right now you can do the same thing you can do just one minute then you can do the same thing in chrome driver as well instead of firefox driver just a minute you can start up chrome driver as well the piece of code will i will not have to change because the page source it remains same across all the browsers the id of this field login one will remain same in chrome as well as in firefox okay so you just have to investigate the web page in one browser and it, it actually works on all the browsers hardly there is any website which has a different page source for different browser okay if, if i run this code you see that hello is typed into this field okay and in chrome how do you sorry uh in chrome how do you go forward and identify the elements okay how do you identify the elements inside chrome browser it's very simple for example this username field only if i have to identify then in that case you need to right click on this user id field okay you will get the option to inspect okay you inspect it you will get the html page source okay and in this you will have the field highlighted okay you can right click on say this link over here uh, own a personalized email id this is a text right click on it and you see inspect and it will be highlighted in case of i you hit f12 of the keyboard i inspector will come up okay this is chrome inspector in this there, there is an arrow as well just like firebug wherein you can move the mouse over the element and you can investigate it as well <clears throat> i hope we are able to understand um ashish i have a question yeah uh, what if uh, like if i have two pages open with the same red if okay maybe one was already open and one the script opens it so which page it will execute the, the script, script the one which is script script open so it won't uh, interfere with the page which was already open no it will not interfere okay okay 
right no mile with will issue you don't need to create the object over here this function returns you the object reference of web element okay right now <clears throat> um also if you look at this object it's got a property known as name as well an attribute so if i write over here driver dot find element i can also extract this element on the basis of its email i can uh, sorry name i can write by the name and you can give the name out here which is login okay guys just uh, give me one minute okay so this is uh, the by name where i have selected okay and uh, if i run this this will work on chrome i i investigated the browser on firefox but still i am running it it will work on chrome right i can investigate the other elements as well for example this is the password element i can inspect it and the id of this element the, you see that the id in chrome is coming out to be password right so i can write over here web element password equals to driver dot find element by the name or oh sorry by the id password and password dot send keys something like this and uh, after that this is the go button you right click on this go button you will see the option to inspect the element okay and you have this button with the name proceed okay the name of this button is proceed so you will write over here driver dot find element by the name proceed you will get the web element go button like this and you want to click on this go button so on the web element you can fire the function click a web element represents a generic element element on a page so you can fire any kind of function on it okay right yeah gopakumar i am coming over to it hold on right so when you run this code you see that it enters a id it enters a password and it clicks on the go button all right now the next thing what if yes like somebody else was asking you the question i am writing id name or something what if two elements have the same id on the web page or what if two elements have the same name then what will happen look selenium what it does is i'll explain you uh right selenium what it does is it starts extracting the elements from the top left corner and it goes to the right corner
right it starts from the top left corner and goes to the bottom right side okay and suppose if there are two elements which have the same id one element is present out here and other one is out here so selenium what it will do it will automatically use the first one it will not use the second one what if you want to use the second one i will come over to it in the coming classes that what you can do to get the second one but selenium as a tool will only get the first one it will not get the second one okay right fine i hope uh, i hope you are able to get my point now if you look at the java docs all right if you go to the official documentation of java which sorry selenium which is seleniumhq.org and if you look at the java docs look first of all you don't need to <clears throat> go to these java docs inside eclipse okay <coughs> sorry <clears throat> you can uh, actually uh, do one thing you can import these java docs inside eclipse okay you can click on this java doc link out here the new page will open in this new page you copy the url this is the url you just copy it and open your eclipse fine inside eclipse you right click on day 4 all right you'll get the properties option fine and inside properties you have this java build path okay and in this java build path you find the main jar file for selenium which is <coughs> sorry <coughs> Hold on. What was the, just a minute? Client combined. Okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, this is the one. The main jar file, which is actually outside the lib folder. Okay. Right. This is the one, right? Client combined 3.4. So you find it you expand it you will see the java doc location double click on it you will see this window coming up and you give the path give the same path which you had copied and remove please remove this index.html from the end remove that click on validate and it will say location is likely valid that means it's fine I click on OK and click on OK, click on OK, that's it. Now if I move my mouse or if I write driver dot, I get the names of the functions. If I click on the functions, I will get the description that what these functions are doing. For example, the function get pay get title will get you the title of the page the function find element which is over here which we used okay it finds the first web element using the given method uh, that's what i told you it finds the first one if there are multiple present it will use the first one there are links over here if you click on any of the link the documentation will open inside eclipse okay you can switch to this frames view 
okay you will have the frames view generated all right inside it all the classes and interfaces are there okay right fine i hope you are able to understand now this is the interface web element it represents a generic html element and some of the functions also we have used okay these are the functions which you can fire on any element all right the only thing which i wanted to tell you you don't need to go inside uh, the official website you can import java docs over here okay if i move my mouse over web element okay this is my mouse if i move my mouse over web element it will tell me what web element is it represents an html element it gets the documentation from the web page and it displays you in the eclipse <coughs> sorry right anybody with any questions anyone right now the next thing the next thing is that every element will not have an id or a name okay you won't find that in every element yes for every project you can do this java doc thing okay for example if you look at this web page only and suppose i want to read this text don't have a rediff mail id i want to read this text okay right so to read this text i can right click on this text i'll get the option of inspect element you choose that and you will get it this is a division with this particular class okay right so now it's not got any id or not anything inside this division we have this text right so how do you identify this in these cases we have the concept of x paths okay x paths they come into the play out here okay right so now how do x paths work out here okay right um it's pretty simple hold on just a minute there is some issue my pc right so yeah out here um how do i tell you okay right it goes something like this that is 
suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, like you go to a restaurant okay in the restaurant you order food right when you order food you are presented with the a la carte menu on which the names of all the dishes are written all right so just by looking at that menu okay you can judge that whether the dish is for you or not how it will be prepared how it will taste you really don't know but all you know is that you somewhat liked it from the menu so that menu is a interface for for you right so i had explained you this stuff earlier as well okay when we were doing uh, day 3 right similarly today i told you that web element i explained you about web element web element i'm i'm moving away from experts a little bit right don't think uh, hello everybody i got kicked out of the meeting somehow i am back right it was a temporary issue it's okay right so uh, you are able to hear me now right just confirm yes yeah okay all right fine so out here yes what i was trying to tell you was this web element is an interface okay it's not a class first of all secondly about x paths okay um like everybody has a address you have an address that address uniquely identifies you okay so every element on the web page also has something known as x path x path it uniquely identifies the element on the web page okay right now how do you make the x path this is challenging right if you go to the website in dot redif only and suppose on this web page this is the sign in link i need to make the x path for this sign in link so i can investigate it with firebug okay this is the anchor tag this is the link fine just hold on now this link is if you traverse up there's a lot of code basically there is a html tag inside this html there is a head tag and a body tag somewhere been inside the body tag okay if you scroll down you will have this oops you will have this anchor tag which represents the sign in link so what you do is that you start building your x path okay like this that there is a html tag under this there is a body tag under the body tag there is this tag div we want to go inside this div tag because ultimately the tag in which we are interested okay the anchor tag is inside this div tag okay if you investigate this sign in link oh i clicked on it sorry right this sign in link is actually
anchor tag <coughs> sorry and if you scroll up a little you will be able to see that it is inside this span this span is inside this span okay and if you keep on scrolling up this span is inside this division okay and this division is inside this division again so we will write over here HTML body slash div so we have reached till this division inside this division you have got many divisions parallel to each other okay there are many divisions which are parallel to, you want to go inside this fourth one because the element of your interest is inside this one the fourth one this is the first second third and fourth so you will write over here slash div 4 that means inside this division you have to go inside the fourth division inside this fourth division you have Hold on. Wait. You have got just a minute. You have got this span. Okay, under this span, there is another span, and then there is an anchor tag. Okay. So you write over here span span anchor tag. <clears throat> okay, so this is your X path. And this is known as a complete X path. It starts from the root of the document and goes till the element. But you don't have to calculate it like this. There are tools available. There is a plugin known as fire path for fire bug you search on google fire path fire bug you will get this link addons.mozilla.org you go here and you add it to firefox make sure fire bug is installed this fire path helps you calculate x paths but it installs on top of firebug okay you click on install restart now the browser will restart and see it's restarted okay now if you go to redif and if you open your firebug inside firebug you will see the option fire path okay sorry just a minute this I think this resolution has gone down like just one minute I'll correct the resolution it's gone for a toss I'm sorry just hold on because you will not be able to see it right in the online class if I don't increase the font size. Right. So out here, right over here, you will see the fire path option. When you install fire path, in fight, inside fire, you will be able to see it. And 
सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन जेनरेट एब्सोलूट एक्सपाथ आउट हेड एब्सोलूट एक्सपाथ और कंप्लीट एक्सपाथ दे आर द सेम थिंग्स ओके राइट सो व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू सिलेक्ट द ऑप्शन जेनरेट एब्सोलूट एक्सपाथ नाउ click on this arrow and move this arrow over the sign in link so you will be able to see this x path this is the absolute see i also made it wrongly i made the x path wrongly manually you will always make mistakes this is the actual x path so you can use this x path in your code if you want so you can go to redif.com and then click on the sign in link to reach the sign in page driver dot find element by the x path you can say you can give the x path of the sign in link right you will get the web element link and you can write link dot click okay All right so when you run this code this will open the browser and will see it did it, it works fine okay yes xpath remains the same the page source remains the same in firefox firebug it doesn't matter see i i wrote, i executed this script in chrome i had investigated the xpath on firefox it was working 